her. Welcome back. Do you think your garden is a lost cause in this drought? I know I have thought this. Eric Soriano with her Hermes Landscaping is here to give us some tips and tricks on what to do in this drought. I know we're getting some rain today that might help, but uh, let's just start with, you know, is there anything we can do? Should we even bother at this point? Oh, absolutely. I think, you know, just water, water, water. Okay. Keep the uh, sprinklers out there, keep watering every day, um, and do it consistently. You've brought some things here that can replace a hose so we don't have to drive that around. Show us a little bit about what are some options with sprinklers. Well, this is um, a spray head that's part of a, a fully automatic irrigation system. And this, this is below ground, and this, okay. this part of the head uh, pops up and sprays your lawn. But the beauty of an automatic irrigation system is if, if you go away on a long weekend, it, it, it keeps watering for that's you. True. It's consistent. Yeah. So when you see those nice green lawns right now, those are people that have invested in an irrigation system that's probably watering every day right now. What is the investment in something like that? I know it depends on the lawn size. On the average residential property, probably three to five thousand okay. dollars. Let's say. Okay. Um, and then, um, you know, there's a little bit of uh, equipment, maybe a controller that hangs in the garage, but it's it's automatic. So, when you see those beautiful green lawns, yep. you can bet they have an automatic irrigation system running in the background. Okay. Another thing that's been plaguing our area it's called emerald ash borer. Um, tell us a little bit about what that insect is and, and what it's doing to our trees. Well, it's kind of a new introduction in our area. It, it came down, it actually came over from Japan years ago into the Great Lakes area. Mm -hmm. It just got uh, confirmed by the Missouri Department of uh, Agriculture that uh, they found them up in Platte County. And what it does is it gets into the bark of the tree and it cuts out all the cambium, which is the part of the bark that uh, transmits the water up and down, uh -huh. and it kills the tree. Um, so it's, it's just been found in our area. It takes years to spread. Okay. But we're uh, we're watching it, and um, what can you do? Is there anything you can do to prevent it? Uh, you can uh, have injections put into the tree every year. Okay. It's a pretty expensive process that can be done once a year. Um, it, it's an insecticide that's injected into the bark that would uh, prevent the, the tree from um, being susceptible to the, the ash borer. It's a tough year with the drought and and this insect. I know pine trees have been going through some issues. Um, right now, a lot of people who don't have irrigation systems, their lawns look brown, they look dead. But I've heard that they're, it's not necessarily, it doesn't mean that your lawn is completely dead. Is that true? That's true. Okay. They're mostly dormant. A fescue lawn will go dormant, it, and the root system stays alive, and it'll green back up again probably in September and October. You're going to want to probably overseed, though. You know, put some more seed, you know, reseed okay. the areas that get they get bald, you know, they get um, uh, the dye. Yeah. So. It'll come back. It always does. So keep seeding. Seed and be hopeful. Right. In September, uh, September we have a big you know, seed uh, lawn renovation program. So start seeding in September. Okay. Thank you, Eric, for joining You're us. Welcome. We appreciate it. All the tips. We need it right now. Uh, we'll be right back.